You can create 100 plus videos using VO3 for free. Check out these videos. Today I'm taking you through one of the most unexpected Did you see that? No, what happened? You can use this hack to create engaging visuals for your Instagram and if you wish to create all of that for free, then keep watching. Today, we will create an automation that generates insanely good visuals using VO3. This is how it works. Just drop a topic into a Google Sheet. Gemini will generate a creative prompt based on that topic. Then VO3 takes that prompt and turns it into a video automatically. And the best part, once it's done, the video URL is added right back into the Google Sheet, ready for download or publishing. All of this happens automatically. I know what you're thinking. How can I get this for free? Let me explain. Once you create a free account on Google, you will get a 90 days free trial and $300 worth credit score. And don't worry, Gemini is free and make.com is free for first thousand operations. Now let's start by setting up the account. Just click on start free, create a billing account. To create the account, you have to do a couple of steps like selecting the country and setting up a payment profile. Once that is done, you are required to add payment details. You can also use real visa or master cards. Keep in mind that prepaid cards and VCC cards are not accepted for payment. Save the payment details and activate the account. The account is now ready and you can create insanely cool visuals. Now let's jump into automation. I'll show you a step-by-step -step process on how you can build this automation. This is a scenario that's going to do the magic for us. So you can see the scenario is connected to a Google Sheet and here you can see I have three columns. So the first column is about the topic so I can put some ideas over here and then I can put the trigger say in general it will be painting and you have general completed and then you can see the video URL so once the video is generated it's going to place the you know the video URL over here so that you can review as well so the whole idea is you can put a lot of uh, you know topics over here and then go for mass generation of videos as well but you know I just I prefer to uh, put human in the loop as well so what I did uh, you can generate the topics using open AI chat GPT and then place it and one by one one, uh, based on your preference and you know priority you can go and click on generate to trigger the workflow so you can see uh, this is the workflow and the workflow starts with custom webbook module and you can you know right custom webbook module provides a URL now I'll explain how you can configure this in the Google sheet it's very simple you can go to the extension and go to app script so in app script you can place a piece of code it's loading so this is the piece of code on edit function so you can just copy paste this so I'll provide it as part of blueprint so you can just copy paste this code and then uh, you can place the webbook URL over here so that URL comes from the custom webbook so once that is done under the code you can go and set up the trigger so you can go and set up the trigger it's simple you can click on add trigger select the available function that is on edit and then you can see the event type so you can put the event type to on edit and then save it so our trigger will be set up with the app script yeah so this is again uh, not really mandatory it's just to put human in the loop you know otherwise you can go with a general module watch rows of google sheet so you have the google sheet module watch rows uh, to bulk generate or i mean loop across the rows and generate the video as well right after the custom webbook module you can see the gemini module create a completion so it's simple you can see the gemini module over here create a completion where you're configuring the connection and the ai model so it's simple you can click on add connection and there is a link provided in the description so you just navigate to that I'll just show you you can simply go and click on the API key and get it done and it's free of course so you can see the button over here get API key and then you can create the API key so let's come back so once that is done you can see the AI model so I'm selecting 2.5 pro preview model and once that is done uh, under the model role i'm providing the test you can see here 
You are a creative assistant generating cinematic video prompts for VO3. For every topic, you receive write one cinematic video prompt lasting exactly 8 seconds. And I'm providing an example JSON over here. So this is the JSON. And what happened means Gemini will uh, output this formatted JSON for the input we are providing under user. So under user, I'm providing the topic over here that is output from the webhook module. So that's how it is configured. So once that is done, uh, you know, we have to use parse JSON because the Gemini module is giving JSON output and we are parsing it using parse JSON module. So we need to map the result output that comes from the create a completion module. So the overall idea is from the Google Sheet, we'll pick up the topic uh, once we uh, change the uh, status to generate. You can see the status over here generate and that will go to the topic goes to the uh, create a completion module of Gemini to create the uh, you know the script video script and this script should be you know uh, a cinematic one uh, with visually uh, I mean it should be visually rich and immersive like a movie scene and finally with the script then comes our actual action where we have to generate the video and this is very crucial here you need to use a different app uh, where you, you can see it's WordTouch AI Google Google Vertex AI Gemini and here you have to select make an API call module. So under make an API call module again here we need to go and do a different connection and that's very easy guys. So we have this connection document you need to just follow two steps where firstly you need to go and select your project it's all about project selector page right and then once it is done so it's loading so where you will select your project or create a new project and then under that you need to just enable the Vertex AI. API API by clicking on enable the API so once that's done you can come back and just click on add you can go and click on sign in with Google to get your connection ready and now uh, you have to select your project then you need to select your service endpoint location ID so I'm selecting it as US central one and then you need to pass this URL so which is pretty much explained in this uh, documentation so this is the URL uh, you can just copy this right and you can go uh, paste over here so you can see that you need to paste the relative path so we are pasting only the tail end so this is a tail end so where we mentioned the model ID as VO3 and we just paste this and there uh, I mean the tail end URL and then select the method as post and then we have to provide the body and that's very important you can find the body over here so it is also mentioned over here you can copy this and then paste over here so we are passing the prompt uh, that comes from the Gemini over here and the parameters like response count and duration over here and I'm providing the duration as eight seconds you can also add additional parameters so if you go to the document recommendation you can find over here additional optional parameters like aspect ratio negative prompt uh, person generation resolution so aspect ratio and all is very important when you go and post to Instagram right because they prefer a particular uh, aspect ratio so once that is done uh, you are all set for the video generation we are providing a sleep module to delay uh, I mean to wait for the video generation I mean to get it ready and then we are using another API call uh, to get the video and that's very simple you need to provide the URL I mean the similar URL but the difference is here we are providing the method as fetch predict operation so under this we have to again use the post method and the body in the body we are passing the operation name and the operation name comes from the previous module you can see that is from create video using vo3 and where you can map the name under the body right so this will generate the video and then finally we go and upload to Dropbox it's very easy you can use Dropbox or Google Drive so I'm passing the output that is received from the get video module and finally I generate a share link uh, using the Dropbox create update a share link module and then I save this I mean update them uh, to the Google sheet using update a raw module where I change the trigger status to completed and paste the URL that is output from Dropbox it's very simple guys so let's go and do the magic so let's go to the sheet here you can see for all these topics i have generated the videos and you can see the video urls to demonstrate it live i'll just remove uh, video url for the last one and change to generate so you can see the topic uh, over here a young woman springs through a four covered forest at night with a dialogue so let's go and change to generate and let's go to the scenario so this is our scenario and just click on run once yeah so use let's click on use existing data see here so we got the webhook output 
a young woman sprints through a fog covered forest at night with a dialogue and it's running the Gemini module to create the prompt. So we have the prompt over here and eight second tens and her tracking shot follows a young woman sprinting through a dark uh, fog shrouded forest at night, a cool cinematic scene. And you know, uh, you can see here, the request has gone to generate the video with VO3 model and we are waiting uh, here uh, for 80 seconds uh, to get the video rendered. So let's wait. Awesome. So the video has got rendered and you can see the get video has given the output. You can see the response over here. It's in, uh, you know, base 64 encoded format and you can see in Dropbox, we'll get the link. Let's see how the video looks. I'm excited guys. He's right behind me. Cool guys. So the video looks so awesome. And if you come to the sheet, you can see the other videos that I have generated. Let me show you. So you can generate a large amount of, you know, high quality videos using VO3. And see this, this is another video. Nice. So you can generate these kind of stunning videos by just uh, putting, you know, uh, good topics. Uh, you can generate these topics with ChatGPT easily and just place it on Google Sheet. And finally, in Make, you have the advantage of having, you know, ready-made Instagram modules. So just come over here and connect your Instagram module, Instagram for business, where you can, uh, you know, create a real post. You can use this module, create a real post uh, to generate reels automatically. Similarly, you can connect the YouTube module. So you can come over here and uh, click on YouTube app and then you can see. Uh, so let's go and type video you can see here upload a video where you can use upload a video as well to generate shots automatically and it's very simple it's all free and that's it you just build an ai automation that creates stunning videos using vo3 without spending a single dollar offered for instagram reels or even youtube shorts if you found this helpful drop a like share it with your creative friends and follow for more ai hacks